Hey guys, thanks for watching our May. Today, let's talk about something new. We're going to share with you how to use sector by sector clone. Maybe some of you don't know that sector by sector clone is a very convenient function that you can choose when you are backing up data on HDD. At the same time, there are a number of users who are confused about this option and don't know whether to use sector by sector clone or not. Actually, it is a not big deal. Firstly, we should understand what sector by sector clone is, and we will make decision easily. Sector by sector clone, also known as a bit by bit copy, means to clone all the sectors on the hard drive, even if the sector is blank or it is logically bad sector. Let's distinguish when to use this feature with more specific situations. Here I will list two situations you may need sector by sector clone. The first one is switch HDD to SDD without reinstalling the operating system and all your applications, especially when the target and source drives are equal in size. The second one is prepare a clone drive for replacement in case that your main drive crashes all of a sudden. Also, I have listed two situations you may not use sector by sector clone. The first one is the destination drive is smaller than the source drive. The second one is there are bad sectors detected on the source drive. Otherwise, the bad sectors will be brought into the destination drive as well. As a matter of fact, there is an easier way to use sector by sector clone. Here I'm going to use the best free backup software for Windows Alme Backupper standard. Here are detailed steps below. At the very beginning, launch Alme Backupper. And then click clone on the left pane and select clone type. Here I will take this clone as an example. What's more, select source disk and then click next. And then select the destination disk to store the clone data and click next. If the destination disk is not empty, the program will prompt you all partitions on it will be deleted. Click OK to continue. Make sure that it have backed up important files beforehand. Here comes the final step. Take sector by sector clone, confirm the operation, and click start clone to begin the progress.